morning dear students shruti riddhi tanvi atharva asmita vaibhav ashwini good morning to each one of you so today we are going to continue where we ended yesterday and today we could study okay so dear students uh, uh, before we uh, go ahead can you please confirm me if the text is visible properly as well as uh, you are i am audible to you uh, can you please confirm me quickly if i am audible as well as my text is visible to you clearly there is uh, some network issue today uh, it seems that connection is a bit slow today so okay uh thank you tanvi uh thank you there is some network issue with the dear students okay 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 thank you so dear students uh, you see here maybe maybe was uh, the close friend of peggy but in spite of that maybe was not able to gather courage in order to Uh, protest uh, against the injustice done to one of the patrons, right? Because Mary thought that if she uh, protests on behalf of uh, Peggy, in that case, what will happen? Uh, sorry, wonder. In that case, what will happen? Uh, Peggy might feel bad, and she might, or uh, you know, she might, uh, or Joe might run towards uh, her now. Okay, like. Uh, You know, Peggy might uh, turn her attention towards uh, uh, Mary instead of Wanda, so that is why she preferred to uh, keep quiet or silent, right? So, but she wished Peggy would stop teasing Wanda patterns, right? Uh, because somewhere she felt that uh, the Wanda patterns should not be made fun of in this manner, right? So, let's continue. Today, even though. They had been late to school. Mary was glad she had not had to make fun of Wanda. Right? Even though they had been late to school, Mary was glad she had not had to make fun of Wanda. She worked her arithmetic problems absentmindedly. Eight times eight. Let's see. She wished she had the nerve to write Peggy a note because she knew she never would have the courage to speak right out to Peggy. Okay. Now the question is. Uh, she is really feeling bad. Like Mary is really feeling bad that uh, Peggy is making fun of Wanda. Okay, so uh, she she is thinking. Okay, uh, when she is at home or or she is doing some work. Uh, like you can see, when she was working, she she already worked her arithmetic problems absentmindedly. Why? Because she was feeling bad for Wanda. Uh, eight times eight. Let's see. She wished that she had the nerve. She, She wished that she had the nerve to write Peggy a note because she knew she never would have the courage to speak right out to Peggy to say, "Hey, Peggy, let's stop asking Wanda how many dresses she has." When she finished her arithmetic, she did start a note to Peggy. Suddenly, she paused and shuddered. She pictured herself in the school year, a new target for Peggy and the girls. See, that is the reason as to why she did not dare to open her mouth to Peggy. Okay, why? Because she thought that uh, Peggy's attention would then turn towards uh, Mary, and not only Peggy's attention, it's, it's the attention of other girls as well. Because Peggy is the most popular girl in the school, she can certainly influence other girls to make fun of Mary as well. That is why she did not gather the, enough courage to ask uh, Peggy to stop uh, teasing. One of the patterns he regarding how many dresses do you have and all that stuff, right? Maybe might ask her where she got the dress. Uh, okay, Peggy might ask her. Peggy might also ask her. Uh, Peggy might. There is another reason, dear students. Okay, there are two reasons. What is the other reason? Let me tell you. There is another reason. What is the other reason for which Mary could not master courage uh, uh, to ask anything uh, to Peggy? 
for uh, 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 ask anything to Peggy uh, regarding uh, why she made fun of Wanda so much. So there is another reason. What is the reason? First reason I told you, Peggy's attention might now turn towards Maggie and as she was a very popular girl in the school, she might also influence other girls to make fun of Maddie. Right? That is one of the important reasons. The second reason is, see, Maddie is also poor, even though she is not as poor as Wanda Patronsky, but Maddie was also a poor girl. So, Maddie used to wear, wear uh, hand-me-downs, right? Hand-me-downs means secondary clothes. And uh, Maddie used to wear the hand-me-downs given by Wanda uh, 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 Peggy herself, right? Peggy herself. So that is why if Peggy reminds her about her uh, worn uh, I mean, hand-me-down clothes, that means she might feel bad. That is also another reason because it was Peggy who was uh, who gave Maddie her hand-me-down clothes, right? That is why also that is one of the most another important reasons as to why uh, Maddie was not in a position to ask Peggy as to why she was making fun of Wanda Patronsky, right? She wanted to request Peggy to stop teasing Wanda Patronsky, but she could not. Neither could she. Uh, you know, tell her verbally, Peggy verbally, verbally, nor could she write a note to, nor could she gather courage to write a note to Peggy, right? Because of these two considerations, if Peggy becomes displeased and she uh, makes fun of her as well as uh, she asks her about uh, the hand-me-down clothes, she tells everybody, okay? In for that reason, she preferred to keep quiet actually, right? So here you see, Peggy might ask her where she got, got the bag she had on and Mary would have to say it was one of Peggy's old ones that Mary's mother had tried to disguise with, right? So that is also one of the reasons if Peggy discloses the fact that Mary was wearing Peggy's hand-me-down clothes, in that case, Mary would feel, feel bad in front of other girls. That is also one of the reasons why she preferred to stay quiet, stay uh, very much uh, silent. Understood? Peggy might ask her where she got the dress that she had on, and Mary would have to say it was one of Peggy's old ones that Mary's mother had tried to disguise with new trimmings, so no one in room number 13 would recognize it. Understood. So, if Peggy gets angry, she might ask the dress that you are wearing now, who gave you this dress? Then Mary has to say that it's Peggy who has given. Okay. So, in that case, the, uh, Mary might feel bad in front of other girls. Right. That is why she was not in a position to displace Peggy. If only Peggy would decide of her own accord to stop having fun with Wanda. So what could she think of? She was thinking if only Peggy could decide of her own effort, of her own choice to stop having fun with Wanda. Oh well, Mary ran her hand through her short blonde hair as though to push the uncomfortable thoughts away. What difference did it make? Slowly, Mary tore into bits that the note she had started. She was Peggy's best friend. And Peggy was the best liked girl in the whole room. Peggy could not possibly do anything that was really wrong, she thought. If only Peggy would decide on her own accord to stop having fun with Wanda. Oh well, Mary ran her hand through her short blonde hair as though to push the uncomfortable thoughts away. What difference did it make? Slowly Mary tore into beats the note she had started. She was Peggy's best friend and Peggy was the best light girl in the whole room. Okay. Peggy could not possibly do anything that was really wrong, she thought. Okay. 
uh, that as Peggy, uh, a suspect scheme of course, because she was a poor girl and more of her, she was wearing Peggy's hand-me-down clothes, so that these all, all these two thoughts uh, made her calm down, made her calm down, then she started to the notes that she had written, right? Uh, And then she thought that uh, Peggy, she was Peggy's best friend, and uh, Peggy is the most uh, or best liked girl in the whole room. So might be Pe Peggy was right when she was making fun of her. So this is how she uh, would somehow manage to calm herself. Okay, but uh, do you think she will really uh, become satisfied with this thought? I don't think she will become satisfied with this thought. Okay, she was more uh, overpowered by. Uh, by her inferiority complex, right? Because she was poor and she was wearing Peggy's hand-me-downs. That is why she was not able to uh, say anything uh, to Peggy regarding Wanda Patron's day, right? So that is the reason uh, as to why she was so much hesitant. Anyway, as for Wanda, she was just some girl who lived up on Boggins Heights and stood alone in the school year. She scarcely ever said anything to anyone. See, this is Wanda Petrovsky's character traits. She scarcely, or she, scarcely means she hardly, she hardly used to say anything to anybody. The only time she talked was in the school year about her hundred dresses. Many remembered her telling about one of her dresses, pale blue with colored trimmings. And she remembered another that was brilliant jungle green with a red sash. You would look like a Christmas tree in that, the girls had said in pretended admiration. Pretended admiration means uh, admiration uh, which is not real. Uh, pretended admiration means or appreciation. So, as far as Mary remembers, as far as Mary remembers, uh, Wanda Petrovsky has two, two dresses. One is pale blue. Another is uh, uh, that brilliant uh, green one okay, with the red sash. Okay, but as other girls are making fun of her, that is why uh, Wanda Petrovsky said she had 100 dresses, okay, which became a standing joke in the school afterwards. Okay, because she is a poor girl, everyone knows. So how can come a poor girl can have so many dresses? How come a poor girl uh, can have hundred dresses. That is how she became the object of ridicule for other students, right? Now, thinking about Wanda and her hundred dresses all lined up in the closet, many began to wonder who was going to win the drawing and coloring contest. For girls, this contest consisted of designing dresses and for boys of designing motorboats, okay? So, there is a drawing and coloring contest, okay? Uh, for which themes have been decided. For girls, it should be uh, designing dresses, and for boys, it should be designing water boats. Right? Probably Peggy would win the girls' medal because Peggy drew better than anybody else in the classroom. Okay? Peggy's drawing was better than anybody in the classroom. Peggy drew better than anyone else in the room. So Peggy's drawing was better than anybody else in the room. At least that is what everybody thought. At least that is what everybody thought. She could copy a picture in a magazine or some film stars had so that you could almost tell who it was. Oh, Mary was sure Peggy would win. Well, tomorrow the teacher was going to announce the winners then they would know. Okay, it means that, uh, you know, like drawing and coloring competition took place a couple of days back, it seems. Okay, now it's time for the declaration of the result. Uh, why does Mary think that Peggy is going to win the contest, uh, drawing uh, and coloring contest? Because Peggy uh, used to draw much better than anyone else in the room, number one. And number two, she could copy a picture in a magazine. Sorry, just a moment. Uh, 
this is many straight so many many straight should be uh, green in okay so she could copy a picture in a magazine or some film stars had so that you could almost tell who it was right so that is why many was sure when you win right so you understood now the peggy's drawing is much better than anybody else in the room and she was so such she had such an expertise or expertise you can say she had such an expertise in drawing that uh, you know she could uh, she could copy a picture exactly as it looks in a magazine or exactly as it appears in a magazine or a film stars uh, had uh, okay anything she could draw exactly perfectly that is why okay uh, many thought that uh, peggy is going to be the winner of the next days uh, drawing and coloring competition right now you see the next day it was grizzly many and peggy hurried to school under peggy's umbrella naturally on a day like this they didn't wait for one the patrons on the corner of oliver street then the street that far far away under the railroad track and up the hill led to bogging sides anyway they weren't talking chance taking chances on being late today because today was important okay so it was raining uh, softly it was raining very softly drizzling that uh, that day when the day of declaration of the result came uh, mary and peggy also became very much interested to report to school to see uh, who has won the competition drawing and coloring competition right naturally on a day like this they didn't wait for one the patrons because they were in a hurry to reach the school premises right so they were not uh, waiting for one the patrons uh, on the corner of oliver street where they used to stand and wait for her a street that far far away under the railroad tracks and up the hill led to bogging sides where uh, one day used to be anyway they weren't taking chances on being late that day because today was important that is why they did not wait for one the patrons uh, many and peggy started on their own to, uh, to the school right started on their own to the school do you think miss mansion will announce the winners today asked peggy now is a conversation between peggy and mary so peggy asked mary do you think miss mansion miss mansion is their teacher okay will announce the winners today oh i hope so the, the minute we get in said mary uh, the minute we get inside the classroom certainly miss mansion will announce the uh, winner of the uh, drawing coloring contest contest of course he will win bag uh, the nickname of peggy is bag of course he will win this is what mary says hope so said peggy eagerly okay peggy is also very much curious uh very much sanguine or interested or optimistic about winning the prize right the minute they entered the classroom they stopped short and gasped they are minute they entered the classroom they stopped short and gasped there were drawings all over the room on every ledge and window sill See, there were drawings all over the room on every ledge, window sill, dazzling colors and brilliant, lavish designs, all drawn on great sheets of wrapping paper. There must have been a hundred of them all lined up, right? So, their classroom was full of drawings scattered here and there. Okay. on the over the room over every on every ledge window sill okay uh then dazzling colors brilliant lavish designs all drawn on gray sheets of wrapping paper right this must be the drawings for the contest they were everybody shocked and whistled or murmured admiring because these drawings look so beautiful they were so uh, uh, so charming so admiring so that is why everybody was appreciating uh, such a good number of drawings in the classroom now let's see as soon as the class had assembled as soon as all the students had 
had assembled, Miss Mason announced the winner. Jack Bagels had won for the boys. So Jack Bagels had won for the boys, she said. And his design for an outboard motor was an exhibition in room 12. Okay, one design that he has made uh, is kept in uh, room number 12 uh, for exhibition. Along with the sketches by all other boys. So who was the winner among the boys? It's Jack Bagels. As for girls, she said, so as for girls, sorry, uh, I can take this, okay. As for girls, she said, although just one or two sketches were submitted by most, okay, one girl and room number 13 should be proud of her. This one girl actually drew 100 designs, all different and all beautiful. So, in the opinion of the judges, any one of the drawings is worthy of winning the prize. I am very happy to say that Wanda Petrovsky is the winner of the girls' medal. So, Wanda Petrovsky is the winner of the girls' medal. Means she has become the winner. Why? Because she has drawn hundreds of uh, designs. Okay, she drew 100, 100 designs, all different and all beautiful. All the designs are different and all the designs were beautiful as well. Right, so it's not Peggy as many and many others expected. But it was one the factors he who won the drawing coloring contest, right? Now, let's see. Unfortunately, Wanda has been absent from school for some days and is not here to receive the applause that is due to her. Let us hope she will be back tomorrow. Now, plus, you may file around the room quietly. Um, and look at her exquisite drawings. Okay, Miss Mason says, Now, girls, you may file around the room quietly and look at her exquisite drawings because her drawings has been kept in this room only, room number 13. The children marched in pre applause, and even the boys were glad to have a chance to stamp on the floor, put their fingers in their mouths, and whistle, though they were not interested in dresses. Look back, Miss Ferdinand. There is that blue one she told us about. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, said Peggy. And here is that green one. Boy, and I thought I could grow. Okay? So, Wanda Patronsky, even though she is not there in the school, she had been absent for a couple of days now. But she has done her work. She has made her impression before she left. She has made an impression. All uh, now, everybody who was making fun of her would stop making fun of her because she has proved her word and she has become. Uh, she has won the drawing and coloring contest. It was not Peggy, but it was Wanda Patronsky who deserved uh, the. Uh, uh, to be a winner because she has made 100 different designs of different dresses okay all colorful all in different color all in different designs okay so this is how one of the patterns he ended up being the being the uh, winner of uh, the drawing and coloring contests okay so but dear students now uh, like, can you tell me, like, here, now, okay, so, can anyone write, why do you think, can anyone text me the, this question, why do you think, Wanda said she had 100 dresses, even though she was poor, even though she was not having the, um, having the money to own 100 dresses. In spite of that, why do you think Wanda Patronsky went on to say to other girls that she had 100 dresses? So can you please 
text me one or two reasons as to why can you please text me one or two reasons uh, each person can write at least one reason why did wanda patron see say she had 100 dresses uh, whereas in reality she was not having 100 dresses so i am uh, waiting for your uh, answer dear students okay so please do uh, text me your answer Anushi said because she had drawn hundred of dresses. What about others? Please do let me know. Please do let me know I am waiting for. I am waiting for your reply. Test. Please do write. Why do you think Wanda claimed that she had 100 dresses, whereas in reality she was not having? Why do you think? She said to other girls that she had 100 dresses. Okay, dear students, only Om Sri, only Om Sri has uh, texted me. What about others? Sanjita, Shivam, Athar, Vaishnavi, Pranati. What about you, dear students? It's a very simple question. Why do you think, why do you think Wanda Patronsky claimed that she had 100 dresses even though she was very poor? What is, uh, uh, you know, your idea. Tell me, tell me quickly. You text me, dear students. You are not there. Palak, are you there? Palak Chohan, are you there? Anudipa Moon, are you there? Krishna Akare, are you there? Asmita, are you there? No, it is wrong. Okay, um, you have to think about this. Okay, uh, it is not correct when you said because she had drawn hundred dresses. No, because she had drawn hundred dresses is not the correct answer. I don't think it is correct answer. Okay, so the problem is if one says that all the rest copies the answer. Okay, you don't apply your brain. That is the problem with you. Okay. You should apply your logic, you should apply your brain, you should not copy others' answers, okay?
like other other uh, said uh, she was wearing the same braided dress to school every day okay so if she had under dresses she would have changed uh, her dresses every now and then right every now and then she would have changed her dresses so that goes on to say that she was not having under dresses of course right but the question is why question is yes like asmita uh, is somewhat correct when she said uh, like so that other girls stop making fun of her understood stop making fun of her even though peggy doesn't believe even that uh, even though some students don't believe that uh, wanda petrovsky will have under dresses but in spite of that in spite of that they will not frequently make fun of her when she says no i have hundred dresses lined up in my closet and it's my wish that i don't wear any one of them that, that is what she meant actually with the statement okay so the girls it is a confusing statement even though the girls thought that she may not have uh, but still still as she said it seriously or as she said with some authority or assertion then other children thought that she may like uh, it is a kind of a, uh, you know like statement in order to stop these girls from making fun of her frequently so as to stop the mouth of all other girls so that they do not make any further fun of her okay that is the reason as to why she said that she had under dress is not that she has drawn under dress for which she has said no she wanted to show our other girls that look i have many dresses lined up in my closet okay uh, so don't think that i uh, i uh, you know you cannot afford to make fun of me just because i am wearing the same dress every day so just in order to uh, sort of make them think that at least she can have some more dresses uh, with her she has made some such statement such a statement uh, and also she wanted that she the others uh, stop making fun of her okay okay so dear students let's end up here today uh, we shall uh, continue with the part 2 of the theme uh, we shall continue with the part 2 of the lesson right uh, and these questions uh, you to study uh, if you have any doubt you let me know okay uh, these questions you can refer to the website and take some hint from the website also do not blindly copy you can write your own answers also okay you can uh, refer to my website for the uh, idea okay on but you can make e a different answer but it should be a convincing answer right it should be a convincing answer right so uh, dear students let's wind up here today okay we shall meet uh, tomorrow right uh, so thank you so much you are registering your presence very good thank you please uh, do think of other uh, uh, questions okay and uh, ncert questions you can write down in your on your notebook and uh, long questions you can study directly from the website